A pair of local girls have danced their way to the U.S. Nationals for Scottish Highland Dancing. We have Annette Tansy and Morgan O'Connor joining us now. You're excited to be here, right? Yes. Thanks And for we're excited to talk to you because it's we're an really exciting excited. time. First off, Morgan, can you explain what is Scottish Highland Dancing? So Highland Dancing is a high-intensity, competitive type of dancing originating from Scotland. Both men and women compete against each other in age groups and you work your way up levels, eventually making your way to Premier, which Net and I are in, and it allows you to compete in competitions like regionals and maybe make your way to nationals. It's fantastic. We've been watching you practice. I'm really excited to actually <laughs> watch you dance. But what did it take to make it to nationals? Um, a lot of practice and just doing our corrections at home. Is it pr How many days a week are you practicing? Uh, pretty much every day. Every day. Takes and this a is a new experience for Annette, right? First time for you to yes. go into nationals. Yes. Mm -hmm. Morgan, you're a champion, right? Two-time champion, so you've yes. been there before. Wow. What's this experience like? Um, it's very high pressure because you're with a bunch of other girls who are all really great dancers, and boys too. Um, and it's really fun, but just, you know, very intense. But it's a great experience, and I'm looking forward that Annette and I will be, get to experience it together. Yeah, and we see your name on the trophies here. Right. This beautiful display. Right. Um, but I think we're ready to watch you dance. Are yeah, ready? okay. Okay, so Lance is going to grab music. the music. I'm going to we'll grab your the mic microphone off there. so you oh. don't drop it there. I'm doing a lot of jumping in this dancing, so. Okay, so I'm going to step off. This one? Yeah. Lance is going to get the music. All right, I am the DJ. There we go. All Woo! right, round of applause. First off, my calves are sore just watching you do this. <laughs> like, unbelievable. That was incredible. That was great. And I know that you have this coming up in July. It's 21st through the 23rd, right, Portland, Oregon? Does that sound right, Morgan? Yes. <laughs> that was like a, a, an intense workout. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine. Like, how many hours a day are you practicing when you're practicing? Um, usually about an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Yeah. Okay. You're getting, the, you're getting a serious workout wow. there. Yeah. You guys are incredible. Very impressive. Best of luck to Round of applause. Yes. I didn't get to it do it amazing. out loud. It was amazing. It was amazing. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, of course, it's great to have you. We hope you come back national champions again. Yes. <laughs> Third, three time, right? Three time. Hopefully. Three time national yeah. champion. All right, good luck to both of you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. All right, after the break, rising temperatures mean many of us will rise from the couch and get outdoors. How long you can stay safe in the sun all summer long.
the beautiful summer weather, many of us are going to be spending some time outside, but it's important to stay safe while enjoying that sun. ABC's Aki Jachi has you covered on how to keep you and your family safe this summer. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States, thanks in part to the sun, but getting it is not inevitable. The CDC has some tips for ways to avoid the disease while enjoying time in the sun. Wear sunscreen or protective clothing like t-shirts and beach cover-ups, even if you're in the shade. These protect against the UV rays that cause radiation that lead to skin cancer. Choose sunscreen that has an SPF of 15 or higher and apply it to exposed skin. Be sure to reapply every two hours while outside and immediately after swimming or sweating. And hats and sunglasses are equally as important because they protect the face and eyes from UV rays, preventing both skin cancer and cancer. Cataracts. With this Medical Minute, I'm Ike Ajachi, ABC News. New tonight, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force now recommends that adults ages 19 to 64 in the U.S. be screened for anxiety disorders. The task force is a group of independent medical experts whose recommendations help guide doctors' decisions and influence insurance plans. This marks the first time the group has made a final recommendation on screening for anxiety disorders in adults and recommends that all adults be screened for major depressive disorder. Well, U.S. home building surged in May far beyond expectations. According to data released Tuesday by the Census Bureau, housing starts were expected to slightly decline. Instead, construction climbed nearly 22% from the previous month. That's the fastest pace in more than a year. Low inventory in the existing home market has continued to boost interest in new home builds. The number of single-family units rose in May to 1.63 million. That's above expectations for 1.40 million. All right, coming up next, we're going to have another check of the forecast and the uh, air quality. As you can see, a little hazy. It is once again warm out there, and John Ziegler is going to talk about it all.